New York City is known for its sanctuary city policies. How do you see the future of these policies, and what additional support is being provided to immigrant communities? If the state spent 2.3 or 2.4 billion dollars on migrants, uh, it's more than we spend on our veterans. It's um, <laughs> one of my followers on uh, Facebook uh, wrote when I when I was talking about migrant crisis. Uh, she wrote, "You know what? I want to be a migrant too because they're receiving much more <laughs> than the Americans." And this is a very sad truth. Um, we have so many people in need, people who are citizens of this country, and we're not able to help them. So why in this world are we spending so much money on migrants? I'm an immigrant myself. I came from the former Soviet Union. My family came from the former Soviet Union. But we were not illegal migrants. We were legal immigrants. And our health was checked, our background was checked. Um, we didn't receive much help from the government. Uh, we somehow managed to found ourselves. We weren't placed in hotels. We, you know, somehow managed to find ourselves uh, apartments and, and jobs. And those migrants don't want to do that. Uh, also, don't forget that it was our dream to get to this country. It's not a dream for them. They're basically coming here to make majority of them. To make some money and send the money back home or leave. Uh, so it's a constant flow of uh, people who are just using us. Also, we have no idea who they are. Uh, some of them are members of gangs. Some of them are members of terrorist organizations. We have absolutely no idea who, who these people are. Uh, just recently, in uh, there was a study that uh, in Midtown Manhattan, 75% of arrests are migrant arrests. Uh, when I heard um, uh, that Governor Hochul wants to hire migrants to work for New York State, I thought, wow, so now we will have people without background checked, uh, members of gang organizations, of terrorist organizations, working for the New York State. So I came out with the legislation that prohibits uh, gang members and terrorist organizations members to be hired by the state. But guess what? The Democratic majority didn't even let this legislation to the floor to vote. It was blocked. So um, it's, it's, a, it's one of the biggest problems that we have. Another, another example, um, we asked the city, the city of New York, if they have, if, if there are any migrant shelters in my district. They said no. And then we discovered uh, so-called hidden uh, uh, secret shelter on uh, East 18th Street and Warriors Avenue in a brand new sleep-in hotel. And uh, my district needs hotels because a lot of people are coming here, uh, a lot of relatives, a lot of you know people need place to to spend a night or two. And it's packed uh, with migrants. So the regular constituents they just cannot use these hotels. Um, and there, there's so many complaints uh, about the migrants being loud, about knocking the doors and asking for money, about driving uh, mopeds and bikes without plates, which is like, if this bike hits you, you don't get any compensation because then I have insurance. No plates, no insurance. So there are many, many, many issues and problems uh, with that. And the answer is very clear. Close the borders. It's very, very simple and clear. It's not as simple as it sounds to close the borders, but there should be a political willing 
to close the borders. And this is why I'm voting for Trump, and this is why I think any common sense person today would vote for Trump. I know a lot of people like, don't like Trump, don't like his personality. It's not a matter of liking him or disliking him. It's a matter of job done. And I think this man will make the job done. He will close the borders. Homelessness continues to be a major issue in NYC. What initiatives are being pursued to provide both short-term and long-term solutions, particularly in addressing mental health services for the homeless? That's a great question. So, first of all, I think that uh, I believe that 90% of homeless people need mental, uh, uh, have mental health uh, problems. So, you know, creating those shelters, first of all, why are we creating shelters? Why are you building shelters in a nice, wealthy neighborhoods? Why we're, you know, making the lives of these people problematic? Why we're dropping the cost of the houses in these neighborhoods? Ask any person if they want to have a homeless shelter next to their house. I doubt anyone would say yes. Absolutely not. So, uh, first of all, I think those shelters have to have to be built in the industrial neighborhoods. Secondly, I strongly believe that uh, uh, shelters have to provide mental uh, mental health. I understand it's not easy. It's not simple. But this is the only way to uh, cure this this problem. Uh, and we need to treat homeless people with respect. But at the same time, we have to understand these people are mentally sick. At least, at least ninety percent of them. Maybe even more. Maybe even ninety-five. And we have to try to help these people, not just giving this, them temporary uh, shelter for one night. We need to cure these people. We need to, to try to help these people, but not making uh, other people's lives miserable when we are doing that. So we need a totally different approach to that problem other than the approach that we have right now. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. It simply doesn't work.